We're joined now by the mayor of DuPont where the accident occurred, Mike Courts. Mike, thank you for joining us on King 5 Mornings. Uh, what was your uh, day like between yesterday till this morning? Well, it's been a long day. A uh, long day for everybody in the city of DuPont. Um, ironically, we had uh, City Hall closed yesterday for um, emergency preparedness training. And uh, as I was driving into the uh, City Hall at about 745, emergency vehicles started passing me through the middle of town. So it was apparent something was going on. Uh, as I pulled into City Hall, my city administrator met me and told me that the train had derailed. So my question was, uh, is this a scenario we're playing today for the exercise? He said, no, the train derailed. Um, and so it started from there. And uh, obviously, as you can tell, it's been a very long day. Uh, well, we want to say just unbelievable that something like this would happen in this small community. So it has to impact everyone uh, because everyone knows everyone in DuPont. So, uh, Mayor, uh, tell us what happened as uh, so many people in DuPont responded to this tragedy yesterday. Well, the response from everyone, from the uh, um, first responders to the professional staff to the volunteers to local businesses was just overwhelming and uh, the outpouring from, from the entire country. Uh, I had calls from the White House, had a visit from the governor, um, had uh, um, the county executive, uh, Senator Cantwell. I mean, you name it, everybody called. Everybody started providing support. Um, businesses just started delivering food. Um, very heartening, obviously a terrible tragedy. Um, we turned the uh, city hall and uh, our... Uh, emergency operations center into a reception station for the non-wounded and for the lightly wounded and prepared to do family reunifications. Um, and most of our staff are still working right now. We're trying to manage the traffic through the city. As you can imagine, we're sort of at the, uh, the point where all that traffic we are just talking about comes to bear. So uh, um, terrible event, but uh, tremendous uh, outpouring from everybody involved. We're talking with Mike Courts, the mayor of DuPont. You're a former uh, a retired Army colonel as well. What is priority number one right now for you? Well, today the uh, NTSB is going to start operating uh, out of our city's emergency operations center. So for us, um, providing the support so that they can get on with their business, um, you know, there's very little we're going to do to involve with clearing the wreckage, which I've been down to the site a couple of times, and it looks like a war zone. Um, managing the traffic, um, dealing with our citizens as they try to get to work. Um, we have a lot of uh, people that work at JBLM, a lot of people that work down in the Lacey Olympia area, and that's uh, almost impossible to get to at this point in time. Um, so try to get on with business, help facilitate kids getting to school, and uh, see if we can keep the city functioning. Uh, Mayor uh, DuPont, especially the City Hall, uh, you were the place where people were able to get some refuge yesterday, and it was good that your folks were, were uh, sort of a place where people could um, find some calm uh, in the middle of this tragedy. So I know people were thankful uh, that they could uh, go to your City Hall for, for that yesterday. So on behalf of the people who needed it yesterday, thank you for the help that you no, provided. You're very welcome. We that, appreciate that's your the time least that we morning. could do. Really appreciate your time. Mike Courts, the mayor of DuPont, joining us here on King 5 Mornings.